Hello, thank you for joining me. So, this is actually the fifth film and the last film in our series, at least I think it is. Uh, even though I may have mentioned that in the film number four, that this, that was the last, but this is really the last. Um, because I forgot to show you, or I didn't show you in the last film, some of the display techniques that you have with, uh, with the Explode View and the Explode Line Sketch. So what we're looking here is the Explode View, and you know, when, it, when it's in a situation like that, a condition like this, you can't really do anything with it. So you can't really uh, apply any motion. So they have built in here, in regard to this configuration, the ability to, to suppress some of these elements and to collapse them. So what you do is you go to the top of your configuration uh, manager, and uh, the very top up here is uh, you know the configuration for the for the whole assembly. We have the default configuration in here, and below that we have the exploded view. It's an element of that. So we can, if we right click on that, we tell it to collapse. We can tell it to explode. We can right click and go to animate collapse, which is really kind of cool. And of course, you can do animate explode too. If you like speed, what you have here is an animation controller. If you like speed, you want to go twice as fast, rather than half as fast. There you go. That's a little bit more satisfying. It gets more work done in a shorter period of time. You have a couple different options in here, too. And you will see this animation controller uh, in a number of different functions in SolidWorks. So what you learn here, you can apply elsewhere. You can do a, a play black loop where it gets to the VRN and just uh, repeats itself. Or you can just do a one-time only shot. And go to play, and it just... Uh, that does at once. So you can go to the end, you can fast forward, back up, and go to the very beginning, you know, that sort of thing with these various buttons. And that's the stop button, of course. And this button here, save animation, you can actually make an animation out of that, and it gives you various settings to do so. I'm not certain if the, the computers in the lab will allow you to do that, or the student design kit will allow you to do it, but um, I won't cover it in much detail here, but you do have a bunch of options. And Microsoft AVI file is probably the better one here. And you might have some different codecs too when it actually gets to actually saving this thing, but we'll cover that in a different video. But uh, those are some options there too. You also have a couple different options over here too. Remember how I uh, explained uh, some of the steps involved and how you couldn't really rename them, but you can rename them here. So, like for explode step one, which is going to be, and if I can uh, go ahead and explode that out. Explode step one is going to be the wheel, so why not call that wheel? <clears throat> you can do this for the other ones too. We'll call that push rod. This might uh, help you track some things. Explode step three is going to be the wheel mount. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this thing is to show you how you can uh, make some uh, modifications to this if desired. So this is about as far as I'm going to go, but. I noticed that when I did my animation on this thing, if I wanted to animate the collapse, <coughs> it's kind of hokey in regard to, um, let's go half speed too, by the way. Uh, what it does is it puts the screws through the wheel mount, and I would like to change that, and we can do that. So let's do this. We can go in here and uh, let's close that out. Let's explode that, and let's change some of the elements. What we want to do is have the screw in front of this, uh, the wheel mount. Probably can't do that here, but if you go into explode view, uh, uh, up into the explode view up here, on top of the tree there in a way, if we go to edit feature like we did before, now we can take that screw and actually move that. It doesn't really give us an arrow showing us what we're doing, but now that, um, you know, now that we've renamed these, uh, we now have the screw in front of the wheel mount. So if we go to the green check mark here and animate collapse, now we can see it actually uh, performs a little bit better. So now the wheel mount goes down first. And then the screws go in second. So, that looks like a lot of fun. So, those are some uh, visualization techniques here. There's a way, uh, we, you know, when it's in the exploded state, it's hard to deal with the assembly. But now that, it explode, that it's uh, back together again, uh, you can actually uh, manipulate the assembly as needed. And just to demonstrate that, too, if you go back to the assembly, you want to pick a part. You can't really move it when it's in the exploded view. It goes back to its other view or some combination in between. <coughs> Which what you really want to do is go back to your configuration and tell it to uh, tell it to collapse, and then you can make modifications to it. So we'll get it kind of close before. Let me show you one more thing. Um, let's go ahead and explode that. Let's go to an explode line sketch. You notice that some of the sketch elements might be off a little bit. If you need to, uh, you can go back into that and edit it, edit the sketch. 
move some elements around if you need to. Some of the things are, uh, are just a little bit off. And you can go back to rebuild it and it should uh, position everything back to where the new components are. So let's do that one more time. Explode view, animate the collapse, or just collapse it. Close that out. Just go to explode and then we'll collapse it. When we do that, we'll move this down a little bit and see what that looks like. So we'll explode it. You notice that the explode line sketches are off a little bit. We can go ahead and change that if we go to the explode uh, view, edit sketch. It now puts them back into place. Some of them may not come back and uh, you might need to make some uh, additional edits to it in order to get it there. So I'm having some conflicts here in regard to probably on the x-axis. And if you look down here to at your um, triad down here, this one is along the X. If we go ahead and delete that, I think we can probably get that back over here. So I'm going to pick up the center of that. Now if I go ahead and rebuild it, it should be in pretty good shape. Probably some additional modifications need to may be made over there. I like to have my angles at right angles. But it looks like everything else fell into place, so it looks like it's in pretty good shape. So, there's some visualization techniques, some display techniques with the exploded view. And hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you in class.